Welcome to another edition of Rogues Gallery, where we count down the best of the worst villains according to your votes. This week, we're looking at the brave souls willing to go up against Frank Castle, aka The Punisher. And just missing out on the top 10 this week were Lady Gorgon, Finn Cooley, and Hitman. Let's start the countdown. Number 10, Dokken. Norman Osborn sent Dokken to kill the Punisher, and the son of Wolverine succeeded by decapitating the Vigilante. Punisher was resurrected as the undead Frankencastle and sought out revenge against Dokken, hunting him around the world until finally finding him in Tokyo. Number 9, Nikki Cavella. Raised from a young age to be the Mafia's ultimate hitman, Nikki Cavella was one of the few people to ever survive an encounter with the Punisher. When Castle finally caught up with him, he shot him in the stomach and left him in the woods, where he died a very slow and painful death over the next three days. Number 8, Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker was a former CIA operative whose arms were equipped with cybernetic enhancements to turn them into a gun. He went freelance as a mutant hunter, running afoul of heroes like Spider-Man and Daredevil, and has often been hired by drug lords and gang bosses to eliminate their Punisher problem, with little success. Number 7, The Hood. The Hood set up shop as the boss of all supervillains in New York City, which naturally drew the Punisher's attention in a major way. Attempting to make peace with Castle, the Hood used his demonic powers to resurrect the Punisher's family. But the Punisher killed them again with a flamethrower to avoid having their memory besmirched by crime. Number 6, Microchip. Microchip was Punisher's right-hand man who often dealt with the admin aspect of being a gun-toting vigilante, as well as being a hacker extraordinaire. Micro was killed during one of their missions, but was resurrected to help the Hood fight Castle in exchange for the resurrection of his own nephew, and continued to work as an anti-Punisher expert for other supervillains. Number 5, Ma Nucci. Ma Nucci was the head of the Nucci crime family, who set every resource she had towards killing the Punisher after Castle killed her brother Dino. An ill-fated run-in with a polar bear left Ma Nucci without her limbs, and she was later killed for good when the Punisher set her house on fire and kicked her like a field goal back into the blazing mansion. Number 4, The Russian. The Russian was hired by Ma Nucci to eliminate the Punisher, and after the hardest fight of Castle's career, he was able to suffocate the assassin with the aid of his large neighbor Mr. Bumpo. Even though Castle severed his head to send a message, the Russian was later brought back to life on numerous occasions as a gestalt Frankenstein-like being to cause further trouble for Castle. Number 3, Barracuda. Barracuda was a troubled youth recruited and trained by the military to be one of its ultimate operatives, and after retiring to the private sector, he was hired to kill the Punisher. Their first fight was one of the most brutal of Frank Castle's life, but he managed to sever the fingers on Barracuda's right hand and cost the assassin his eye. Barracuda retreated to plan his revenge, and discovered that the Punisher had a young daughter he was unaware of. Although Barracuda tried to leverage the child's life over Frank, the Punisher finally eliminated his enemy by blowing his head off with his own gun. Number 2, The Kingpin. The Kingpin has always been a threat to the Punisher and vice versa. But in Jason Aaron and Steve Dillon's Punisher Max, the crime boss was reinvented in a wholly new and terrifying way. Wilson Fisk was a bodyguard who suggested to the families that they create a mythic kingpin to draw Castle's attention away and then manage to fill that gap and eliminate his rivals in crime. However, Fisk became paranoid about the omnipresence of Frank Castle and became secluded in his fortress of a skyscraper. He hired Bullseye to kill the Punisher and Electra to be his bodyguard, unaware that Electra was plotting with his wife to kill him for the death of their son. The Punisher and the Kingpin fought in a bloody battle out on the street that ended with Fisk locked out of his own tower and shot in the back of the head by Castle. Although Fisk died, Castle himself later died of his wounds, making Fisk still one of the most successful people to go up against the Punisher. And number 1, Jigsaw. Billy Russo was a Mafia bigwig nicknamed the Butte because he was so handsome, until the Punisher threw him through a plate glass window and scarred his face forever. Now going by the name Jigsaw due to the scars on his once handsome face, Russo made it his life's mission to get revenge on the Punisher in any way possible. Jigsaw became obsessed with killing Frank Castle, and even sought out the occult ways of the Rev to achieve this. When the Punisher faked his own death, Jigsaw became so angry that he became the new Punisher to get revenge on the criminals that took away his opportunity to kill Frank Castle. Jigsaw's son Henry hated his father for how he treated his mother during his childhood, and used his tech skills to aid the Punisher in his war on crime. In the final battle between Punisher and Jigsaw over Henry's fate, Jigsaw fell through the roof of his own burning headquarters and Henry neglected to save him. 
That's it for this week's Rogues Gallery. Keep an eye on Comics Alliance to have your say in the latest polls.